My name really isn't Connor. Picked it out of a phone book for no other reason than it was easy to say. An unknown man waits for me in the ramshack barn barely visible at the end of this cow path of a road. In Crank, I have rewarded a nameless crankster who simply knocked on ten killer's door and whispered reminded directions. I've made a dope deal for ten gallons of P2P. A lot of crank can be cooked. I'm packing a quarter ounce of powder in my back pocket, and the gram line of crank I snorted before leaving my truck melts in my nostril. I'd been careful to park on the county road some distance from the old barn. The drip goops down the back of my throat. I tilt my head up and suck through my nose and mouth to summon and savor. My tongue is swollen with worn out gashes from gnashing teeth, and with each step I take, the harsh chemicals sear the raw and the rash. My heart is beating erratically, anticipating the rush. The goop of maggot shit slivers into the bottom of my corroded stomach. I'm looking up into the thunderstorm, neck stretched and rigid. A queasiness churns within, and I start to dry heave. Flexing stomach and throat muscles, I choke the vomit back. The sound of gagging frightens me until I realize it's me. I lurch forward, wiping tears, as my breath gurgles up through my throat, reeking of bile and toxic fumes. I am at the barn, crickets chirruping. I'm scared to go in. The wind slams the door shut. I watch it creak back open. The wind pushes me in, and the silhouette of a man appears before me, like an incorporeal specter I met in an earlier nightmare. 